Hey friend, John McLennan here, and in this video I want to share with you how I play House of the Rising Sun as recorded by the animals on guitar. So let's get straight into it. The song kicks off with the intro, and we start out on an A minor chord. This is from the fifth string down, open, two, two, one, open. Now the strumming technique for this song starts out by just hitting the bass note of each chord. So you play on the A, you would play the fifth string, and then we're gonna drag our pick just through the strings all the way up to that first string. So, and then we'll come back, second string, third string. So you just sort of push your pick down through the strings and then come back. And we're in a 6-8 time signature, so you could count it like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And with the pattern, you would go 1, 2, and 3, 4, 5, 6. So it's ba, 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 ba. Then you move through the progression. So you go A minor. And then you change just one finger, you go to C, three, two, open, one, open. Then you go to D, this one starts on the fourth string here. So we're gonna double up on that first string. And then F, from the fourth string down, three, two, one, one. So, so far, hear that sometimes you hear like the open strings like you sort of let off the chord as you make your way to the next chord so that's the first four bars and the main sort of strumming technique you need I'm gonna break down the rest of the song for you but before we do that if you're new to the channel I want to give you a gift right away let me ask it let me ask you have you ever struggled getting your guitar in tune without a tuner I know for me this is something that I struggled with for way too long and it wasn't until I came up with a way of tuning the guitar that just made it so much easier. It helped me be able to grab any guitar and just get it in tune right away without a tuner, without an app. And so what I did was just put down my method. It's a simple five-step method in a PDF, and I call it my five-step secret tuning method because you're not gonna see this method out there. In fact, in the PDF, I detail out the typical ways that we're taught to tune, and then I show you where the downfall is and basically why I was having such a hard time getting my guitar in tune. And once I figured this out, it made tuning so much easier. So you can grab this guide completely for free. Just go to johnmcclennan.com slash tuning and you can get it right there as my gift to you or also just click the first link down below. I made it easy for you. So once you go through those first four bars, we got the A minor, C, D, F. Then we go back to A minor. Then we bring in a chord. This chord has all six strings. It's an E. Open, two, two, one, open, open. Now here we've got to push our pick a little faster. We go. That's one, two, and three, and four, five, six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Ba, da, 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 da. And then back to A minor. And then E again. So whenever we play the E throughout the song, we've got to have that slightly different rhythm. So the first rhythm is, and then the next rhythm is. So that's our intro, and it's also used as an interlude. It comes in at the end of each verse throughout the song. Here's what it sounds like all together. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then right there, the verse comes in. 
right? We've got the melody, and here we start the same way. A minor, C, D, F. Then we go back to A minor, we go A minor, C. Then we play two bars of E. Then we play basically the intro again. A minor, C, D, F. A minor, E, A minor, E. So really the intro or that interlude is just the last half of the verse. So here's the entire verse progression played as one piece just so you can hear it for context. And again, this is right where the melody comes in. There is a house. I want two, three, four, five, six. All right, so that's sort of the main progression is that verse. Now there's a couple things to keep in mind throughout the song. Is on some verses, the melody comes in two bars earlier. So the last part of the verse, the last four bars, we're going A minor, E, A minor, E. But sometimes the vocal just comes in at the end of the first two bars. So it'd be like A minor, E, and then straight back to and then you would connect back in to the top of the form. So you have to listen for that throughout the song. So whenever the vocal comes in, you just immediately go to the top of the form. Now from there, you can add some strumming like as the recording builds in certain parts of it because it's the same progression going over and over you can start to strum a little bit more and this sort of lifts the energy. So you go one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three. Basically you take the rhythm from the riff, one, two, three, four, five, six. You go down, down, up, down, 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 down. That would be a great way just to strum it anyways if you do not want to play the riff. So you could strum the chords, you could play the riff, it's all good. Now at the very end of the song, there's one last part you gotta know, and that's the outro. Here we bring in a new chord, D minor. We play this from the fourth string down. Open, two, three, one. Now we start on the A minor, one, two, three, four, five, six. Play a bar of that, then go to D minor for a bar. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, one, two. You can do all downs, down, 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 So those are the parts you need to put together to play House of the Rising Sun. And remember that even if you're playing all the rhythms perfectly and all the strumming patterns and chords right, but you're out of tune, then that's a bummer. So make sure to grab my five step secret tuning method guide completely for free at the first link down below. And this is gonna help you be able to get any guitar in tune right away without using an electronic tuner. And this was something that once I figured out, I actually became way more confident as a guitar player. And it just made playing guitar more fun because I wasn't fighting the instrument. I wasn't playing out of tune and feeling like I sounded terrible. So grab it completely for free. Just go to johnmcclennan.com slash tuning as my gift to you. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. And for more rock guitar, check out this video next.